While they attended official engagements side by side, just hours and a sea apart, that days the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge demonstrated that they were anything from work shirkers. For the occasion, Kate chose an old favourite from her wardrobe, a cream brocade coat she originally worn ten years prior. As she arrived at the old mansion to join the 2,500 other guests, Kate had changed out of her samba black and white attire and into the day burger at Mickelson coat. She accessorized with a stylish rose-shaped hat by Locke and company and a set of gold and topaz earrings. At the nape of her neck, her hair was styled in an attractive side bun. Also, in line with the venue of the event, the Duchess wore a golden shamrock brooch that the Irish guards gave to her as a bridal gift. The next was just a year later, in 2012, when Kate chose to don the coat during the Paralympic Games opening ceremony. Since its debut in 2006, the Duchess has frequently preferred the coat. When she attended Zara and Mike Tyndall's wedding in 2011, she was next spotted wearing it for yet another wedding. The Duchess smiled and greeted the hundreds of visitors who were waiting for her arrival. She appeared to be in a really good mood. After paying their condolences to the victims of the massacre in Florida by signing a book of condolence at the US Embassy in London's Grosvenor Square, the pair flew to County Down to join First Minister Arlene and a host of dignitaries at Hillsborough Castle. At the yearly garden party, which is always attended by a senior member of the royal family, Kate and William were showered in beautiful sunshine. The First Minister of Northern Ireland, Arlene Foster, was waiting for the royal couple when they arrived that afternoon. Theresa Viers, the Secretary of State for Northern Ireland, had invited visitors to the occasion. Participants came from a diverse cross-section of Northern Ireland society, including the non-profit and community sectors, as well as youth organisations and regional charities. The couple then moved to the grounds where they engaged in conversation with visitors. The Duchess joined Irish and Scottish military personnel as the weather darkened, where she was observed engaged in conversation. During her engagement that afternoon, the monarch was beaming as she visited the mayor and mayoress of Hillsborough. As he met several visitors at the garden party that afternoon, the Duke of Cambridge demonstrated that he truly is Prince Charming. Nevertheless, it appears that the Duchess was eager to do more than simply make small talk that day as she got down to work and assisted in planting a tree in the 1770s era home that is now the Queen's official residence in Northern Ireland. Since 1984, the garden party celebration has been held yearly by the Secretary of State for the area. A royal guest of honour attends each year.